Hi everybody, I'm Mr. Harold here with my Magical Miniature Review. And today I'll be going over 15mm.co.uk, their, some of their newest scenery bits, which is uh, modern tents, both in the whole version and in the torn version. They go for uh, two uh, British pounds, which is about uh, plus or minus four dollars, four US dollars. Very, very cool. They come in two styles. First, the the whole tents. You can see here, they're uh, very modern. These these things would be great for anything from zombie apocalypse games to post-apocalyptic to modern day. Just the scenery, uh, really anything, even sci-fi. I actually got these. These are going to be uh, objective markers or scenery for my sci-fi games, and they'll represent uh, tents from a research team. So they'll actually be painted up probably in grays, I'd imagine, something kind of sterile looking. Uh, they're very cool. They'd also be great for uh, gaming, like The Thing, or maybe Mountains of Madness. The great thing is not only do they come in whole versions like these, but the best part is they come in ruined versions, destroyed, as if they've been torn apart either by uh, like Satch Squatch maybe, or uh, Loch Ness Monster came out and did some damage, maybe some zombies, or just uh, bandits coming along and taking what they want. Really great terrain pieces. These are going to paint up really quickly. Uh, I will probably I will probably use my airbrush because since I've gotten it working, I'm slightly addicted to it. But there's no reason just a normal paintbrush wouldn't do these justice. Uh, simply painting maybe the windows like a bluish color. I'll be painting the fabric with like a light gray and then washing it with uh, probably Army Painter Strong Tone, which I really like. Uh, that will give it a nice, there's two versions, a dark tone and a strong tone. This is the strong tone right here. And that gives a nice organic kind of dirty feel to it and then highlight it back up with the watered down grays almost to white. And then with the tent poles, probably the smaller portions, I will use black, maybe dark gray, and I'll try to cu uh, carry over the fabric color for where it crosses over there. Then of course you have this really nice surface which is like the tent door. Um, since mine are going to be for research teams, what I'll be doing is actually uh, probably putting some cool like uh, sci-fi, I don't know, uh, decals that make it look like it's part of a, a funded expedition rather than just a camping store. The size is very great. It's perfect. Uh, here's a uh, adventure from their 15mm line. Uh, looks kind of like Judge Dredd there. You can see the size. Nice size there. So probably a two person, maybe a three person tent. You could easily put some scientific equipment in there. Uh, here's something from Ground Zero Games. It's gonna give you a different idea. Same same kind of thing. Uh, here's a hell diver next to him. I'll probably use uh, I mean 50mm.co.uk and the Ion Age both have a a great uh, variety of civilian miniatures which I actually have. They have some great refugees which these would go very well with. And of course you have Ground Zero Games as well which has uh, civilians. Um, but you know you're picking up these tents. I actually like the uh, refugee range that has like uh, they're carrying they're like children carrying stuffed animals and you have uh, people carrying backpacks. Really characterful stuff and you could easily have these set upon like outside of a road or a starport and I think it would fit well even though it's uh, still tense, people are going to need tents in the future. So these are very cool. I look forward to painting them up. As soon as I paint them up, I will put them uh, up on the website so everyone can get a look at them. The other really cool thing I got, and because I saw it and it was really neat, here's the picture of the flyer. So you can see right here, these vehicles, they come in several different sizes, or excuse me, several different modes of transport. I got the middle one right here. And... You know, I'm not entirely sure why I got it, except for the fact that it is very cool and reminded me, I think it's supposed to be a hovercraft, but it actually reminded me of a boat and it struck me as something like a water world. So, I don't think I have this on right. I was kind of messing around with it earlier. I think I just have to uh, kind of sand bottom a little bit, but it will fit right on there. It's mostly just me not looking at the website is the problem. I think it fits just like that. But these are very cool. It 
remind me of something from either Cowboy Bebop or um, Waterworld, something post-apocalyptic kind of sitting in a harbor, maybe selling iguana sticks off of or something. Very cool stuff. And of course they go well with the other vehicles from 15mm.co.uk. Kind of a hover car. I think I've shown these off before. These are remastered. I, I have the pewter versions as well, which I really like. I think he remastered them in resin. Uh, they come with a little bases here, which I really like. And uh, they kind of kind of hover off there. Just great pieces of terrain. So I hope you've uh, liked this little review. Just a quick one today. These uh, tents are awesome. I love them. When I saw them, I, I knew that I needed to order some because I think they'd make either great scenarios, like figuring out where the research team went, or just uh, really kind of characterful terrain to kind of go on the sides. And what's also awesome, if you use them for objectives and scenarios, there's plenty of space on the bottom to write numbers. So if you have objective one through four and you need to find objective three, you gotta go through three, four tents first. So as always, if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them. And uh, until next time, thank you very much.